Hello, children. Welcome to an exciting journey through our solar system. Climb aboard my little spaceship. We're going to fly to the planets and discover exciting facts about each of them. Take enough provisions with you. Okay, let's go. So, first we fly to the sun. Did you know that the sun is a huge, hot star? It's so big that a million Earths would fit inside it, and so hot that if we wanted to visit it, our spaceship would burn up before we got there. So we'd better keep our distance. But without the sun, there would be no life on Earth because it gives us warmth and light. The sun is the central celestial body of our solar system, and everything, whether moon or planet, revolves around the sun. Our first planet is called Mercury. It is the smallest planet in our solar system and the closest to the sun. It's very hot there during the day, but at night it gets freezing cold. There is no wind and no air on Mercury, just lots of craters that look like holes in Swiss cheese. Next we visit Venus the hottest planet. Its thick atmosphere acts like a blanket that traps the heat. Did you know that you can sometimes even see Venus from Earth? It shines like a bright star in the sky. There is the beautiful Earth. It is the only planet in our solar system on which humans, animals, and plants can live. Why? Because it has just the right temperature, air, and water. Earth is the most beautiful and valuable planet. We have to take good care of it. Now we're flying to the red planet, Mars. Its red dust consists of iron oxide, something like rust. Mars is home to the largest volcano in our solar system, called Olympus Mons. Many different probes have been sent to Mars from Earth to explore it. Maybe one day humans will live there. Who knows? Wow, look at Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. It has more than 75 moons and the big red spot is a huge storm that has been raging for hundreds of years. Jupiter is a gas planet, so you can't land on its surface. But with all the storms and lightning, which are thousands of times stronger than on Earth, you wouldn't make it through its 50-kilometer thick cloud cover anyway. And here is Saturn, the planet with the famous rings. Well, these rings are made of ice, dust, and rocks. Saturn is also a gaseous planet, and it has over 146 moons. One of them is called Titan, and it's even bigger than the planet Mercury. Saturn could even have been a template for my spaceship, or as you humans say, saucer. What do you think? Now we come to Uranus, the crooked planet. It rolls around the sun on its side, so to speak. Uranus has a beautiful blue-green color because its clouds contain methane. It is incredibly cold there much colder than in the freezer, which is why it is one of the ice giants. One year on Uranus is four and 80 years on Earth. That's how long it takes to orbit the sun once. Here we visit Neptune, the windiest planet. Its winds are much faster than an aeroplane. So nobody can stand here, but you could certainly fly around the planet like an aeroplane with your arms outstretched. Neptune has a dark blue color and is very far away from the sun, so it is bitterly cold there almost as cold as on Uranus. The last and most distant planet is Pluto. But Pluto is no longer an independent planet and has been a dwarf planet for 2006. Although it is round and orbits the sun, it shares its orbit with other objects, which is not allowed as an independent planet. So kids, that was our journey through the solar system. Now you know how different and exciting the planets are. Maybe you also have a favorite planet. Mine is and will definitely remain the Earth, where I come to visit you from time to time. Thank you for joining us.